Hello everyone, we will continue the topic smart forms and in the previous videos we started with how to write a logic in the driver program. Selection logic should always always be in the driver program. Select queries or selection logic should never never be in the smart forms. So now in the program, we have written the selection logic. We developed the smart form. Now we will integrate these two things, which means we need to call the smart form from the program. And you all know very, very well, I cannot call a smart form directly from the program. I can call through the function module of the smart form. If I will run this smart form, so this smart form generated a function module. This function module we have not created. This is generated by SAP itself and it is not static in nature. It is dynamic in nature. If I will display this function module, if I will go to import tab of the function module, you can clearly see whatever you took in the smart form, same to same is coming in the function module also. We have header internal table, we have item internal table. So what I will do, I will copy this function module. And yes, you all know how I can call the function module through the pattern button. So I will go to pattern. I will pass the function module. And you can see now clearly, clearly understandable. Those who have the doubts, they can easily understand. You took LT header LT item as import input in the smart form form interface if you remember in the form interface we took it as a part of import import now here it is coming as export it means we will export the header and item data so that it will treat as import in the smart form or we can say function module of the smart form. So this is our header data. So that topic will make more sense. I gave the different, different names of the internal table. This is our header internal table in the program. This is our header internal table, which we gave in the smart form. So our header data, we are passing to header internal table of the smart form. This is our item data. I'm passing to item internal table. Now we are exporting so that in the smart form, it will treat as import. Never, never forget to uncomment the exceptions. Because if some exception is there, at least runtime error will not come. Now we all know very well and it is clearly explained in the previous videos. This program, whenever we'll go to quality and production system, this program may or may not work because in this particular system, we have the function module ending with 154. In the quality, it can be 160. In production, it can be 170. So we cannot hard code this number. So what is the solution for the same? SAP is saying you should always get the function module of the smart form using the function module SSF underscore function underscore module underscore name. So I will simply write SSF underscore function underscore module underscore name. 
and I will press enter. Now, here I will pass the name of the smartphone and it will return the function module of the smartphone. So what is our smartphone? Do not pass the previous smartphone. Now we created a new smartphone. So I will pass the name of the new smartphone. I will uncomment the exceptions. I will uncomment the importing and it will return the function module of the smartphone. Suppose here I will write LV underscore F name. LV underscore F name is already declared. Yes, because I made a copy and I have not deleted that. If you delete it, you can declare it again. How I can check the type of LVF name? It will be same as that of FM underscore name. FM underscore name is importing here. It means in this function module, it will be the part of exporting. So you can simply, simply pass. I will check the syntax and I will activate this particular program. Now we simply, simply how this program will work. We will give the order number, suppose one, it will fetch the header data it will fetch the item data. We are passing the header and item data to the LT header and LT item. This is your smartphone. LT header will accept the header data. LT item will accept the item data. Your header data will go to this work area your item data will go to this particular work area and it will display ls data one. I will replace this variable. I forgot to replace because we should never, never hard code. Now I will check the syntax and I will activate this particular program. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we integrated the smartphone into our program. And you all know you cannot call a smartphone directly. You need to call through the function module of the smartphone. So we pass the function module of the smartphone. In the function module, we got same to same input parameters which we passed in the smartphone form interface. We called the function module through the pattern button. So those two parameters are coming as export here. It means from the program we will export so that they will treat as import in the smartphone. So after that we should never never hard code this function module because this function module depends upon the system. So it will be a different number in quality. It will be a different number in production. So what we did, we simply get the function module of the smartphone through this particular function module. And we simply, simply call that particular function module which is coming into this particular variable. In the next video, we will simply understand the output in the debugging mode. So that topic will make more and more sense to you. And plus in the next video, we will also take, because many people will ask, is it necessary that read table should be in the particular smart form? Can we take read table also in the driver program? Yes, that is also possible. Yes, but at least no one can claim. No one will say that you have not followed the best practices because there is no selection logic here. So in the next video, I will also cover that also that there is no need for this also in the smartphone. We can pass through the driver program also. Plus, 
we will understand in that debugging mode then we will go for further proceeding of that topic so that's it in this video thank you